Hello and welcome to lecture two, microcontrollers and electronic components. In this lecture, uh, overall, we are going to introduction to microcontrollers, um, Raspberry Pi Pico W specifications, Raspberry Pi Pico W pin out diagram, digital communication protocols, electronic components, and Raspberry Pi Pico W setup. Uh, specifically, uh, this uh, recording is about uh, uh, topic one, uh, introduction to microcontrollers. Okay, uh, welcome to the world of microcontrollers. Uh, we are going to talk about microcontrollers in this uh, sub-lecture, uh, tiny processor that are great at managing other hardware alongside some memory. You know, you might usually picture computers as devices that sit on your desk, but there's actually a whole world of other types out there. In fact, you've probably got a bunch of microcontrollers right in your own home. They are likely in things like your washing machine, uh, your watch, uh, coffee machine, and microwave. However, these microcontrollers have built-in programs and uh, manufacturers uh, make it tough to mess uh, with their software. Raspberry Pi Pico, this nifty little device is super easy to uh, program with just the USB connection. Today, we'll explore how to start working with this gadget and other electronic components. By the end of our time together, uh, you'll have the uh, now how to create your very own programmable electronic uh, contraptions. Uh, I believe uh, the possibilities are endless. Um, also, you will see when we think of programming or coding, we often jump to software, but coding can uh, also impact the real world uh, through hardware. This is called physical computing. As the name suggests, physical computing is all about controlling things in the real world with your program's uh, hardware rather than the software. So whether you're setting your washing machine or playing with your uh, thermostat or what other gadget, you are actually using physical computing. These devices tend to have a microcontroller much like the one on your Raspberry Pi Pico uh, W. And uh, it's totally possible to make your own control system just as you would um, with software. So let's dive into the world of physical computing and unleash the potential of our Raspberry Pi Pico W. So uh, what is microcontroller? Microcontrollers like um, Raspberry Pi Pico W are typically utilized as the brain uh, of um, smart devices, like microwave ovens, dishwashers, home security system, uh, weather stations or irrigation monitors and controllers. Since the microcontroller usually does not have a keyboard, or mouse or monitor, we develop their program mm, on a regular computer known as a host computer, and then upload the program to the microcontroller to test and uh, finally deploy it. Uh, at best, uh, they have a small display and mm, perhaps a couple of buttons for taking comments. Uh, we do not use monitors or keyboards, but program them to take their input, uh, uh, input from and send their output to the input-output pins. Using these programmable connections, uh, you can light uh, lights, mm, you can make noises, send text to set screens, and much more. The programs that run on mm, this microcontroller can be quite powerful and sophisticated. And as you can see, there is a, a, a photo of a Raspberry Pi Pico W. 
Mm, here I wrote some different types of microcontroller and uh, the first uh, picture from the left is Arduino Uno. Uh, and is a popular microcontroller that is easy to use and it features a lot of input output pins and can be programmed using a simple and user friendly in interface. Uh, the second one is Raspberry Pi Pico from the left side. Uh, is a low cost microcontroller that features a powerful dual core cortex uh, M0 plus processor and supports a variety of programming languages, making it flexible and vers versatile. Uh, the third one is ESP32. That is a powerful, um, um, I mean, this photo, that is a powerful uh, microcontroller uh, that features built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity and makes it ideal for Internet of Things projects. Uh, the other one is STM32F4 and is a high performance microcontroller that features a powerful 32 bit ARM Cortex M4 processor and is designed for a demanding application that require real time processing. Um, PIC 16F877A. Uh, is a classic microcontroller that is popular for education and hobbyist project due to its ease of use and low cost, uh, but it may not be suitable for more demanding application. As you can see here, this is Raspberry Pi Pico W, and uh, we will focus uh, on um, this board. And the difference between Raspberry Pi Pico and Raspberry Pi Pico W is just only W is, is uh, uh, it shows that it has wireless and this is the mm, chip that it shows this is wireless and uh, Raspberry Pi Pico doesn't have it. That is only the difference between these two. Uh, but let's see what is the dif uh, difference between MCU and SPC. Uh, when we say development boards, they are categorized in two uh, categories, I mean MCU microcontroller and SPC single board uh, computers. Microcontrollers are a small computers that run a single, that run a single program and uh, it has a limited memory and a slow processor. Also, it has no operating system uh, and it, uh, that makes it less overhead. And this, uh, which is good. Uh, MCU also can react faster in real time, uh, but uh, uh, they are good also for a simple and low latency tasks. But single board computers or SPC are not microcontrollers for sure. And uh, they run the full Linux uh, OS operating system, I mean, and they have lots of memory and uh, uses way more power. If we say, uh, if you want to say some examples of MCU, we can uh, mention Arduino, Raspberry Pi Pico, or Raspberry Pi Pico W, and uh, examples of SPC can be Raspberry Pi. Uh, there are two common microcontrollers, designer and developers. One is called Espressive system uh, and other one is called Raspberry Pi Foundation. Espressive Systems is a company based in Shanghai, China that is well known for ESP32 and ESP8266. Uh, microcontrollers, which are popular in the maker uh, community and are used in a variety of IoT projects. Expressive Systems focuses on providing highly integrated and low-cost solutions uh, with a focus on wireless connectivity, which makes their products ideal for applications requiring Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Raspberry Pi Foundation, on the other hand, is a UK-based charity that focuses on promoting 
computer science education and developing affordable and low cost single board computers that are easy to use and accessible to everyone. Mm, Raspberry Pi Pico, that Pico W that uh, we are going uh, to talk about it, is an RP2040 based microcontroller that is announced uh, in October 2021. So Raspberry Pi Pico W is in this category. Uh, okay. What is RP2040 chip? Uh, if you look at this photo, RP means Raspberry Pi, simply enough. Two is the number of processor cores uh, that microcontroller has. It means that it has two processors. Zero, if we, you look at here, I am talking about these numbers here. RP Raspberry Pi, two is the number of uh, processor cores, and zero is the type of processor core, indicating in this case the RP2040 uses a processor core called uh, Cortex-M0 Plus from Cambridge-based ARM. And four is how much random access memory, I mean RAM, uh, the microcontroller has based on a special mat uh, mathematical function. And uh, sorry for this. Uh, and in this case, four means the chip has 264 kilobytes of RAM. And zero is, the second zero is how much non-volatile storage the chip has and is work out in the same way as the RAM. In this case, zero simply means there is no non-volatile storage on board. This is overview of RP2040 chip. Okay, thanks uh, for your time. And if you have any question, uh, you can select me and uh, ask me question on the group. Uh, thank you, bye.